What's up, Fragrant World? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. Today we got a tag video. I was tagged by my man Darian, AKA the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. He tagged me in this a while back and I've been slacking on it, but we're getting to it now. The idea is you get to choose one fragrance per month for an entire year. So I'm kind of taking it to the extreme and saying, throw away the rest. We're gonna do this one fragrance per month forever. Now, this is just a game. This is not realistic. I cannot honestly stick to wearing one fragrance for an entire month unless my family was at gunpoint or maybe someone was gonna pay off my student loans or something, some kind of stake on the table, then I would consider it. Otherwise, no, I like to change it up just like you do. So my criteria for this, first of all, I'm only choosing bottles in my collection. Reason is, is because if I have a little sample or a decant, it's most likely not gonna last me a whole month. So just simple as that. Number two, I'm looking for multifaceted fragrances because the reason why I struggle to choose one fragrance for an entire month is because I don't wanna get bored of it. And even if it's multifaceted, that doesn't guarantee I won't get bored of it, it's still possible. But for the same reason why you don't wear, you know, the color white every single day. Oh wait. Anyway, you get what I mean. We like to change things up, you know? So let's jump right in. We're gonna just go starting in January. So January, you know, I want a fragrance that is gonna have a little bit of heft to it. You know, where I live, it gets cold for sure. Not as bad as it was when I lived in the Midwest. In the United States, that was just otherworldly, but now things are, it's mild where I live. So it gets cold, but it's not terrible. So I do want something that does have some heft to it, has some sweetness to it maybe, but it, you know, it does have an uplifting nature as well. And I'm going with Baccio Immortal from Argos Fragrances. This is a leather-based scent. It does carry similarities to Tom Ford Tuscan leather, but it's way smoother, way more rounded out, nowhere near as brash, nowhere near as heavy on the saffron, and it does have this kind of green quality to it. The raspberry, I think, in this is a little bit more pronounced. There's this green earthiness, and there's kind of a brightness when you first spray it on. It has a little bit of a citrus kick, and I love that. So this is one that it has some facets to it that I think it'll capture my interest as best as it can throughout the month of January. But that's my pick, Baccio and Mortal. All right, February, my birthday month. And I wanted something that every time I put it on, I just love it. Now, February, it gets pretty cold. Um, that's really getting into the heart of the winter. And, you know, you want something that is going to push, that's going to last, that's going to hold through the cold. And I'm going with Instant Crush. This stuff is beast mode on me. This stuff will last days on my clothes, probably longer, honestly. It'll even last over a day on my skin. And it projects, and I never get tired of the way it smells. It smells fantastic, especially in the air. And when it's cold, it's even better. If you wanna know what it smells like, check out my review. That's Instant Crush for February. Now in March, it's still cold, but not as cold and it is starting to warm up. There are some slightly teases of a warmer day that come and go in March here. And I want a fragrance that is gonna cater to the cold that is still lingering, but also has a little bit of an aromatic nature you know, something that can shine on those slightly warmer days. And I wanted something that I absolutely love, and that is Layton, apart from the Marley. This is a fragrance I don't get tired of, and people around me seem to feel the same way. It's gorgeous. It's not the most versatile, I would say. It's sweet, it's aromatic. It mostly comes off as playful, maybe even a little bit sensual as it dries down. But, you know, the quality is good enough to where I think you could kind of pull this off in a more elegant situation. And it just simply smells really freaking good. People always ask like, what is that? It smells great. So that is March, we're going with Layton. Okay, April, not quite warm yet, but we're getting there. Things are slightly warming up. It's not raining quite as much here. It's still a little bit here and there, but sun is peeking out more. So I want something that has a little bit of a freshness to it, but Still has some heft, just in case things don't quite get there. We're going with Gentle Fluidity 
from the house of Maison Francis Kirk John. And this is a beautiful, beautiful scent. It's based around a very simple note structure. I think there's just five main building blocks that Francis Kirk John used to build this as well as its gold counterpart. Mainly you get coriander, you get amber, you get some juniper berry. I'm forgetting the other facets right now. I get a pretty sweet and sharp juniper berry from this. And it does have a little bit of that coriander touch, which can kind of almost come off clay-like. It's kind of a weird texture that you get. And I think I get a little bit of that in here. This is also kind of beast mode on me. This will last on my skin all day. It will have sillage most of the day. I can always detect it even by the end of the day. So this is one I would rock for April. And this is actually a pretty versatile scent. You could wear this for any occasion. That is gentle fluidity. I'm gonna have links to all these fragrances down below. Okay, in May, it's officially getting warmer. This past May that we've had here was actually not too bad. We had a few streaks of, you know, hot days, but nothing really lasted and that's pretty typical here. But I still did want something that caters to the warm weather, but it still has some facets that make it a moderate wear. And this is gonna be Lone Moltine from Yves Saint Laurent. This is based around ginger and rose uh, and I think cedar wood. It is, it's very woody, very, very woody. It has a dryness as it dries down, but it does have this beautiful sweetness to it. That rose is kind of spicy with the ginger. And yeah, it's a very masculine wearing experience in terms of rose fragrances. It's fairly unique. It does have a little bit of the loam DNA in the background, but nothing smells quite like Low Maltine. I think it's discontinued, so check it out if you can. Okay, we're into June now. It is definitely warm. Maybe even time for vacation, which I'm not doing much now, but I'm gonna actually have a couple of trips coming up in the next few weeks. And you know, vacation time, you wanna feel good. You wanna feel liberated, relaxed. And something that does it for me, at least right now, I'm loving this. This was my top fragrance for the summer on my niche list. This is Coco Moon. This is just a feel good scent. It's from Beach Giza. And this is, it's vacation. It's alluring. It's transportive. It is, again, it just makes you happy. It's a very joyful fragrance. A lot of coconut, some vanilla in here, some, I think, sandalwood, pineapple. It has a fruity tropical sweetness. It has a little bit of this creamy tropical, you know, coconut vibe, a little bit of that suntan lotion thing, but not so much. It's more on the gourmand side of things. And in the base, it dries down to some kind of sensual, you know, notes. I think, again, the sandalwood is here. It gets a little musky, I think. I love it. And on me, it's beast mode. I wouldn't wear a whole lot of this in the summer in terms of sprays, because it's strong, but especially at night, gorgeous. And I might just put on one or two sprays in the day. That's Coco Moon. Okay, we're a little bit more than halfway through the year now. We're into July, definitely into the heart of the summer now. And we're going with Philosicos from Diptyque. Beautiful fragrance for the hot weather, multifaceted, which is what I like. This is also a kind of a tropical scent, but it's more based around the fig tree. They're really just kind of paying homage to the fig tree in general, so you have a green nature to it, you have a woodiness, and you do have a juicy, fruity sweetness from the fig, and also a nice little twist of coconut in here, which really makes it tropical. But overall, it's juicy and fresh and green and woody. And again, it's just very joyful. And it doesn't really have the greatest performance, which is fine. This is the Eau de Toilette. They do have an Eau de Parfum. But Eau de Toilette, I love it. You can spray a little heavier. During the day, you maybe don't have to spray quite as much at night, and it's just gonna be a very unique scent. And again, at least for me, hopefully interesting enough to keep my attention all day, every day for the month of July. For August, it's still warm, but maybe cooling down a little bit, especially during the nights. And I wanted to reach for a fougere. Most people would reach for a fougere maybe in the springtime, but as we're getting close to fall, you know, in August, I figured why not? I, put a fougere here. We're going with Tom Ford Beau de Jour. Has a freshness to it, that fresh spicy nature, herbaceous lavender, 
but it also has a bit of a kind of deeper, richer touch to it. I think there's some amber in here. There's a warmth, there's a sweetness, there's a creaminess, but it does get quite dry as it dries down. It is quite versatile. It does lean a little bit on the elegant side of things, but I think it could work great as a signature scent if you don't mind smelling super refined all the time. I mean, there's no bad time to smell great. So Tom Ford Beau de Jour, that's what I'm going with for August. For September, we got a, a banger here. And this is a classic. This is a signature of mine. And as fall is really approaching here, things are cooling down. But this also does just fine when it's still a little bit warm outside. John Varvato's Vintage, you already know. I'm not gonna say much more. If you don't already know, you can check out my review. Hopefully that'll give you an idea. Very inexpensive, at least at the moment. I've heard that the whole line might be discontinued because the house might be going bankrupt. So I'm not sure about that. Either way, maybe pick it up if you've been sleeping on it the past few years that I've been talking about it. Now might be a good time. Links down below. Okay, October. Fall is here for sure. Leaves are falling. Weather's cooling back down. And I want something that is just going to be warming, going to be very relaxing, calming, and just very grounding. And Shergi from Serge Luton is one of those for me. It does have an elegance to it. It, oof. Man, I haven't smelled this in a while. It smells fantastic. This is an amber scent. It's also based around an interesting hay accord, which is interesting. A lot of honey in here as well. So it does have a rich sweetness, but it has this earthiness. Tobacco is also a major player as well. Earthy, kind of almost rustic tobacco feeling, but with a nice kind of rich succulent sweetness in there. A little bit powdery as well. Maybe some irises in here. This one, again, it's multifaceted. It's very unique. Something I think I could get away with wearing every day for a month. So that is October. Here in November, November, it is definitely getting cold now. As things get cold, you know, things can get a little bit depressing. Let's just be honest, especially when it's just gloomy all the time. So I want something that is gonna have a little bit of pep to it, a little bit of playfulness. So I went with the Zorro Wanted by Night. As the name says, you would just wear this at night, but I would wear this during the day. I'd wear this everywhere. I love this scent. It has kind of like a sweet candied tobacco vibe to it. A little bit of an aromatic nature, but not too much. And it performs very well for me. So this is one I think that would be enjoyable and get me through November and probably give me quite a bit of compliments too, because it has done that in general. So this is Wanted by Night. All right, December, last month of the year. It's definitely the onset of winter at the, you know, near the end of December, winter, I think the solstice hits. And I'm gonna go with a fragrance that is one of the newest ones in my collection from a house I've really grown to love over the past year or so. And I talked about this in a video I did several months ago in terms of fragrances I like to smell on a woman and also talking about can men wear women's fragrances. Now this does not really fall into that category. I just happened to share it in that video because I had a sample of it. I finally got a bottle of it from the house of Teo Cabanel. This is, I think it's pronounced Barkan. If it's not Barkane, I think it's Barkan. This is a beautiful woody resinous fragrance. Myrrh is a major player, maybe even a little bit of oud in here. It has this sweet balsamic kind of resinous quality again from the myrrh. Very luxurious, very elegant, and that woodiness is dark. It's not super beast mode. This isn't the strongest fragrance I could have picked, but the scent captures me. Every time I put it on, I just, I take a, a sniff and I'm just like, yeah, I, I'm really, really happy to be me right now because I smell good or in Barkan. You can sample this one on Scent City, if I'm not mistaken. I do have a code, JC recommends. That should get you, I think, 12% off. You can get a sample, you can get a bottle if you want to jump in on that. You know, get your nose on this. And the house in general is great. I was between this and Cafe Cabanel, which I love. I decided on this one just because 
I don't know. I, I always loved it. I got the bottle. I'm like, okay, no, I got to include this one. This one captures my attention at the moment. So that is Barkan from Tail Cabinel. Okay, so now is my turn to tag folks, I guess, to keep this going. So I'm just going to admit I have not checked who has not done this already. And I don't want to be redundant and tag folks who have already done it. So here's what I'm going to do. Future Justin, I'm going to need your help on this. I got you, bro. Thank you. For once, you want to help me. <laughs> on the screen, I would love to just list two or three reviewers that uh, I'd like to tag. Can we do that? I'm the reason you can do anything. Okay, why did I even ask? Yeah, so you, reviewers, and I will let you know personally, these are the reviewers I would like to tag. These are their names. I don't see them. I look silly waving my hands because I see nothing in front of me, but you all see the name. So check out the links down below for all the fragrances I mentioned. Check out my Patreon, which is linked down below. If you want to become a part of the Fresh Fam, you can do that and we can get to know each other a little bit better with some exclusive content and exchanging. If you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. Join the Fresh Squad here on YouTube. Really appreciate those of you who have just joined and those of you who have been around since day one. Thank you all so much. And also please like the video. If you like the video, that is. Thanks so much for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.